and good afternoon y'all i'm david atkins target individual back again with another video i'm gonna name this video chemtrails are the medium direct energy is the method okay today we're going to go into what chemtrails really are they're more than just some spray spray in there that's killing us all it goes a lot deeper than that but first, I want to start out with a Bible verse, and it's Romans 8, 18 through 21. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the visions of the sons of God, revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to the fertility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. The creation itself will also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. I don't know if that rings bells with y'all, but that rings bells with me. All right, I'm going to start out with a quote by George Bush, the United States does not torture. Imagine that. He said it, not me, but I think it was a lie. Anyway, we're dealing with Star Wars. It involves the combination of chemtrails for creating an atmosphere that will support electromagnetic waves, ground-based electromagnetic field oscillators called gy gyrotones, and iosphonic heaters. Particulates make direct energy weapons work better. It has to do with steady state and particular and particle density for plasma beam propagation. They spray barium powders and let it photo ionize from the ultraviolet light of the sun. Then they make an aluminum plasma generated by zapping the metal cations that are in the spray with either electromagnetics from HARP, the gyrotron toron system, on the ground wave emergency network or space-based lasers. The barium makes the aluminum plasma more particulate dense. This means they can make a denser plasma than they normally could just by ionizing the atmosphere of the air. More density, more particles. Means these particles which are colliding into each other will become more charged. There are more of them present to collide. What are they ultimately trying to do there? I'll do up there is create charged particle plasma beam weapons. Chemtrails are the medium. Gwen pulse radars, the various harps, and space-based lasers are the method. Or more simply, chemtrails are the medium, and direct energy weapons are the method. Here we go. Spray and zap. The system appears to be in Russia, Canada, the United States, and all of Europe. Exotic weapons can be mobile, stationary, and land-based, serial, or satellite. It is an offensive and defensive system against EM attacks and missiles. It uses iosphonic uh, particle shells as defense mechanisms, like bug zapper shell against missiles and EM attacks. That means they spray, then pump up the spray with electromagnetics. When these shells are created using oscill oscillating electromagnetic gy gyrotron stations, it excludes and displaces the background magnetic field. These shells can be layered above one another in a canopy fashion for extra protection from missiles. The chemtrail sprays have various elements in them like carbon, which can be used to absorb microwaves. Some of these sprays have metal flakes in them that make aircraft invisible to radars. Spoofer sprays. Sprays like these can be used to create colorful, meaning, I mean, colorful magnetized plasma to cloak fighter jets. They are satellite weapons involved. There are satellite weapons involved. Activists are using meters and are getting readings of microwaves, arrays, and some other kind of emission that they are not sure of, maybe a low-intensity laser. They're also photographing gas plasma generation due to the heating of chemtrails by electromagnetics. The technical names for vertical and horizontal plasma columns are column, column lumbar, focal lens, and horizontal drift plasma antennas. Various sizes of gas plasma orbs are associated with this technology. These orbs can be used as transmitter and receivers because they have great refractory and optical properties. They also are capable of transmitting digital or analog sound. 
Barium, in fact, is very refractive, more refractive than glass. What does that mean? Someone or someone's very involved in unconstitutional domestic spying. The entrained plasma orbs carried on electromagnetic beams can be used for mind control programming. The satellites can be programmed to track and monitor variant frequencies on different parts of your body. These electromagnetic beams carry the gas plasma orbs stick due to magnetic pol polarity and frequency mapping and tracking to people's eyes, ears, temples, and private parts. A beam with entrained orbs carries pictures into in each orb, just like the different frames in a movie. It's a particle beam that's also a frequency weapon. The satellites download holographic mind control movies, pictures, sounds, and sensations to people through this technology. The Air Force stated in Air Force 2025, their goal is to develop virtual and augmented reality mind control. Depending on how the computer is programmed, depending on the mood or intent of the person interfacing with the technology, you can be probed bothered, gaslighted, frightened, manipulated, electronically raped, or tortured. It scans your brain frequencies and deciphers your thoughts. The satellite tracks you by mapping out your bioenergetic signature, bi and biometrics, and constantly scanning an area to find you. We are the lab rats for this technology. Something's very wrong in the military and intelligence branches somewhere because developmental projects in government and military is often, often so compartmentalized Suppose someone could be using developing this technology secret without authorization. Then again, behavioral mind control program with authors were authorized policy under MK Ultra. Our country has a history of experimenting on its citizens. We're talking about satellite charged particle frequency weapons attacking a person 24 hours a day. Psychotronic weapons are considered weapons of mass destruction by the UN. Harps can create elect earthquakes and can also X-ray the Earth to find underground military bases, gold, or oil reserves. The Isles heaters can also operate as an over the horizon or under the ocean communication system. The system can control the weather or create disasters. Taken together with the Aurora Keyhole through your roof satellite surveillance system, Echelon electronic computer slash phone sweeps, plasma cloak DOD drug war helicopters and stealth, implants, and cameras on the street. It constitutes one big global and space control grid. These weapons also involve beams. Two beams overlap will couple into a particle ion beam that will bounce off a remote target and send a holographic image back to the satellite for remote spying operations. When you cross two beams, you can supposedly create scalar energies. The energies can be used as ultra untraceable weapons for nuclear explosions or for defense. These crossed energies can be used to cause a person's physical electrical system to fail or with a lower frequency, administer a kind of remote electroshock. Visualizing, visualize touching a positive, negative electric cable to each other on top of your head. Scalar energies can be utilized in handheld military guns and on tanks. They can dud out electronics or cause a large electrical blackouts. Scalar injury, en energies are practically impossible to shield against. You need lead, ceramics, and a deep underground facility not to be affected by these weapons. Or you need to be up and above the battlefield. People who are working on these issues hear tones and hums. If you hear persistent tones and static and have body vibration, burning syndration, bangs to the head, neurological damage or immune system damage, or, const or hearing electronic voices, or hearing the sound of plasma, suffering from pains deep in your organs, constant headaches, or experience other anomalous activity, then you may be targeted by direct energy mind control weapons. These weapons could be on helicopters, jets, stealth fighters, or on satellites. Direct energy beams and electromagnetic waves can be sent to you via handheld device or piggybacked in on a cell phone and satellite tires. Is it possible that someone are, are very afraid of coming famines and riots due to the ongoing man-induced failure of the ecological system? And they are saturating the earth with chemtrails for large-scale gas plasma mind control? Is this the last grasp for the world's resources? Or are they just control freaks and money mongers? Someone would like to get to that oil under that melting due to chemical trap heat arctic. And I guess the third world is not a part of this system. I don't think that the developed nations are going to let them in on this either. Any country that joins the system will be become mind controlled and diseased due to the associated intense oscillating electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic soup, and the poisonous toxic chemtrails. Our DNA will break. We risk the earth spin and tilt it becoming messed up due to mucking around with the magnetic fields through this military technology. Maybe it's already messed up. 
It also constitutes, uh, constitutes U.S. global domination via NATO and erosion of civil rights. According to Al Martin, our ex-KJB, ex-Stasi advising our new Office of Total Informational Awareness. They're the ones creating our new international passports or national ID. And under the Treaty on Open Skies, we have overflights by Russian and German military who exactly who exactly is flying those plasma cloak crap that are crap that are seen all over this country and mistaken for UFOs by he, people who do not know this aero deception technology. Obviously, we have another project paperclip in the making. We can add these things to the 2000 Iraqis brought into this country by Daddy Bush, who are now living in Nebraska. The elitist corporation government is going to hold the rest of us hostage with direct energy weapons in space. If the policy for a new American century group think, think tank has the way along with directed energy weapons against any country or citizen they decide they do not like. These weapons can create climate war, weather war, mine war, cyber war, disease war, disaster war, and undetectable war. Taken together, they can create an economic war, and they already have. If the system's not stopped, it will kill billions due to aluminum and borium po uh, poisoning. It will, kill boom and it will kill billions due to crop failures, worldwide famines. It will cause heart attacks, strokes, cancers. It's already doing it. It will cause stillbirths, miscarriages, infertility. The chemtrail sprays also have fungi, bacteria, viruses, desiccated red blood cells, crystalline substances, carbon, metal capsules, lithium, all over chemtrails. I mean, other chemicals, heavy metals, and God knows what. Smart dust, nano crap included. Years of bio warfare tested on the American public is no big secret anymore. Spraying germs in the sky where they mutate due to ultraviolet light. Brilliant plan, my man. Are we acceptable? Are we acceptable losses or in this by design? I know that many big players have big investments in pharmaceutical companies, GM seeds that can grow in electromagnetic soups, weapons and directed energy development contracts, oil contracts, genetic research, mind control research. Some of these people have had familiar history of financial and policy support for population control, eugenics, Hitler, Mayo, Stalin, Lenin, Marx, Panachit, Hussein, and various other dictators. Some of the major players were masterminds of the death squads in Central and South America. They stand to make a big profit on our death and disease. Just take a look at Rumsfeld and Tamiflu. I assume that they know the dangers of the system. They take care to stay in their shielded, air-filtered offices, home bases, and cars. I assume taking shellating substances to remove the bearing and aluminum from their bodies and minds. If not, then they really do not understand the far-ranging implications of this destructive system. Congress may not understand just what a terrible weapons system and control grid they are funding. As I understand, Tesla tires attached to deep earth free energy taps are to be created over 10 to 12 magnetic poles and a Gwen system phased out. Has this already been done? This should allow total control of the earth through giant Tesla death ray guns. This natural electromagnetic earth was not meant to be an unnatural dynamo to power man's weapons or his utility companies. Over to Unity Systems, Tesla devices are, as of yet, another unexplored, probably understood man-made energy. We, be, we should be very suspect of free energy. As we can see, the forms of man-made energy that have been created and used in the past have not been good for this planet. Maybe it's time to reconsider the options available to us. And I'm going to end it there because I've gone over my 10-minute usual thing. God bless y'all. Y'all have a Merry Christmas, and I'll be doing another video tomorrow. I just don't know what on yet. I started to do, I, I sang a praise and worship song this morning to give an example of how to fight this stuff when it when the going gets bad. Um, I think it's in 1 Chronicles um, 20. Uh, Jehoshaphat was fixing to go to war with his whole army, and he sent somebody down. He came back with a report. God said, just start praising him. He's, they they got this banner and I I forgot what they put on the banner, something like um, mercy endureth forever. I think on the banner they started praising God. They went to the bottom of the hill to fight. God had done defeated his enemies for him, and that's in First Chronicles twenty. I think that story in the Bible. But anyway, so any any storm you want to praise God, and if you don't believe in God, then you got your different ways of doing it. I respect that totally. I'll shake your hand. I'll sit next to you like you're one of the, 
any a normal person. I treat everybody equally because I know how smear campaigns and lies have messed up my world and how they messed up a lot of targeted individuals' world. So anyway, y'all have a blessed uh, Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks.